Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You and Cartier World today. We got another reaction video, bro. Like, comment, sub up, man. Like, comment, sub up. Let's run them numbers up. Y'all keep showing love, bro. Turn on them post notifications. Do y'all thing, man. You know we coming back to back. It's more hot shit coming. No cap. Today, nigga, we got big homie CC, celebrity bodyguard on guys having Gucci Mane's Hummer surrounded. He gonna blow y'all down. In the words of big homie CC. Hey, if y'all know about Gucci, man, that was the original boogeyman in hip hop. Niggas was scared of Gucci. I'm talking about he walk into a building. It's pure silence. Niggas, niggas get nervous. They shaking. Women, females, you know what I'm saying? He he was really about that. You know what I'm saying? He, you know. He really got them stripes. Uh, so uh, let's see what Big Homie got to say, his personal experience. That was a real situation. That, that, was, that was real smoke right there. And everybody that was on the label, they felt that, bro. They felt that because Rocky have a, have a booking. Mm. And call us, yeah, we going to catch his ass laughing today. We want that MMG chain. So me and four them will have to pull up. One day I went to jail. I go to jail to, at the last show. Damn. Call us, say shit about to go down. So we push up and we put Rocky in our car. Rocky getting there, you feel me? It's a bunch of ga the guys in there. We got so many guns in the car. Rocky like, damn, he wasn't even trying to be in the car. Mm. But police pull up, so I hop out the car. They end up taking me to jail, so all that type of stuff. I was able to get off all that little jam because... Mm. The guys had bailed out the car. Rocky bailed out with them. You feel me? Mm. So Rocky went this way. They went that way. So I just stayed there with the whip. And then yeah, I took had that. no license or nothing like that. He took that L. He took the L. He was the fall dude. Are they talking about ACL Rocky? What they talking about? Supposed to be driving, but I only popped out because they was, I knew they were trying to catch my man. And Rocky, my real brother, though. Like, you feel me? Like, I would come out with him even if he's not paying me. So, like... That was a real situation. That was, that was real. And a lot of the older GDs that I know say that Ross paid, so mm. I don't know. I can't verify, but that's what I heard. And why would they lie? But for dudes to go in court and testify that Ross paid three million, shit. You think he gonna lie on the oath? Oh, they talking about Ross right now? Yeah, apparently he the GDs extorted him, had him on payroll. I mean, we need three M's. You want to claim this GD? You want protection? You want to be good? You want to be straight? That's a cold case, three M's. And if somebody come in court testify on that, why would they make that up? You know what I'm saying? Why? I don't see why. I mean, niggas do lie on the stand, but they lying for their benefit, not for, like, just stupid shit. You think you allow no? You allow no? No one that come with perjury? I would probably like I probably would just be like, I don't know anything. Right, but you know he's trying to Right, well that I mean his situation is different. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I right. wouldn't say anything, but you know, if he's if he's already agreed to cooperate, of course he's not gonna lie. Hell no, bro. Facts. Cause then now your deal gonna get voided. Now you finna get max time. <laughs> Nobody trying to get max time. What about Jeezy? I've been around Jeezy a couple times. He's very scary. <laughs> he's a real scary. Straight up. Nigga, if you wanted to know, big homie said he's scary. He's a scary individual. Sheesh. Hey, man. I knew I knew Jeezy had went to civilian mode and scary when he married that Asian girl. Even before then, he just was like, Real black tie, just kind of trying to change his image, everything. Like, he like, I'm a mogul. I'm not in the streets. I'm not doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he it, it seemed like uh, Jeezy had an awakening. Like, nigga, I'm not about this no more. Yeah, like, I like his music and stuff like that. But, like, I don't look at him as nobody that's a gangster or nothing like that. That's mm -hmm. a rapper. Like, I don't really think he was doing the things he was saying like that. Mm. Just a rapper guy. What about Gucci Man? Man, he a real gangster for sure though. Mm. Cause uh, one time I had got a call because he had barricaded himself in the hotel room. 
Mm. He barricaded himself in the hotel room. The promoter trying to get their back in back. At this time, I guess the Molly was beating him. <laughs> he was mm. getting wild with everybody. So I guess he said he wasn't paying nobody <laughs> nothing. Mm. So like a couple guys that called like, man, you would take some money to help us get Gucci out this hotel room. I'm like, bro, he going he gon' pop us, bro. You feel me? I'm not gonna get shot with y'all, bro. Like that nigga said, Gucci, good, good. That nigga said he gonna blow. He nigga, he gonna pop us straight up. I ain't. I know I already know he about that, and he tripping. He on them gang drugs. I'm not going. Nah, I'm not signing up for that. We finna kick down his door. He gonna blow us down. <laughs> y'all crazy, like, bro. I'm not on no crash out missions, bro. You feel me? Like, at the same time, he in Chicago, bro. He know how to move in Chicago, bro. Cause he already had other Chicago guys with him. Mm. There was some guys from out west, I think. He already had Chicago guys with him, and in Chicago, bro, you gotta be smooth, cause like, you know, you might be cool with them. That back door get left open, thinking you cool with somebody, bro. Mm. So like, yeah. Everything you hear about Gucci, did he get in a fight at a mall with somebody or something? He got in a fight at a couple malls. He definitely beat up somebody in Chicago <laughs> at a mall, for sure. A fan too who was trying to play with him. He knocked him out at the mall. I think it was Forest City. Mm. He knocked out a fan at Forest City Mall for sure. That's a fact. I know about that firsthand. And so, Gucci man was in there just just wilding out, not. So look, like, anybody who know, bro. If you popping pills, staying up all night drinking liquor, bro, that second or third day you finna go crazy, bro. You feel me? That second or third day, anything goes now. Like you finna start wilding out on everybody. Like he buried he I know he barricaded himself in a hotel room, bro, for sure, bro. And he was trying to get him to pay that money. He did not pay that money, bro. He ended up getting up out of there and getting locked up. Cause he had drove to Chicago in a in a Hummer mm. from Atlanta. He drove in a Hummer on like 28th. You know how crazy that is? <laughs> you driving from the 8th to Chicago on a Hummer on 28th? <laughs> so you can have your pipe with you. You're not finna fly. You gotta have your pipe. Mm. I'm like, nah. Yeah, we got this Hummer surrounded. He not coming out. He just gonna blow y'all ass down. <laughs> yeah, I avoided that jam. I avoided that one for sure. Was that your only interaction with Gucci? I had seen him other times before that because one of my guys was his bodyguard when he came in Chicago. My homie, uh, I ain't going to say his name because uh, he got like a little federal case going on right now. But anybody know, big bro with the blonde hair, he got the, uh, the shamrock on his neck. Anybody in the field know who I'm talking about. You feel me? So, you know, ain't no mystery in Gucci history, bro. You know, he like Michael Jackson in the city, for sure. Mm -hmm. What's up? Yeah.